hello thank you for tuning in today i'm going to be showing you transformation of my garden that was done by my husband um how my garden looked before and how it looks now and then i'm going to do a garden tour of this year's garden what i have planted so this is the base that he made for the sitting area and then put the decking wood on top with side panels and then we put the sitting bench with a shade on top um, that we already had before and then he done the raised beds and then he moved from raised bed to do the decking he did the base um, it was kind of tricky because it's a very big uh, space but he did a really good job of it my husband and then we put the decking wood on top It came out really nice, it's massive decking. We had many barbecues and iftar party on there. And we, this is the plants that I put in, bright flowers and stuff that year. The plants look really nice. And this is in the evening, you can see the blue lights. Um, my khudu plants doing really good and the flowers come out really nice and this is the evening with lights blue lights on the decking okay this is his next project he started this year he made the uh, a shed he removed the old shed and took out all the concrete sl slates that there were um, and these are the materials we bought our shed from Argos it comes flat pack and you have to assemble it yourself um, it was a lot of work and these are all the things that came with it not the ladders obviously and this is the base he did previously like a decking he did the base first uh, he was going to do tile, but then he found out it was too much hard work. And this is the finished product, the shed. Looks really good. Hello, thank you for tuning in. Today I'm going to do a tour of my garden and the chicks update. This is a decking that my husband made for me. And it's around about two years now we had. He put lights up for me, really nice flashlights, everything. It looks really nice. Um, I need to do a night one to show you. I have blue lights all over trimming and that's it. Okay, let me show you the rest of the garden. I have eight raised beds that my husband made for me. I'll show you exactly how it looks. This is the whole entire garden. This is my chicken coop. And this is where I dry my clothes and my shed my husband just made a few weeks ago. Okay, this is my first raised bed where I grow salads and herbs. And I have red onion, garlic, thyme, lettuce growing and tomato. And I got Bangladeshi pumpkin. Next, I have in a pot potato growing. I find it easy to topple it out uh, to harvest time and this is a climber but my husband made for me it looks really good and steady makes my life a lot easy okay this is my second raised bed where i have lalsha growing these are green vegetables and i have mustard leaves and these are green beans from Bangladesh growing this year the slugs destroyed them so I'm very devastated okay next I have black currant plant growing and it's giving me loads of fruit as you can see this was my lemon tree but the winter has destroyed I don't think it's coming back I'm very upset okay this is my gooseberry plant I have loads of gooseberry finally after two years it came I was gonna cut it off this year if it didn't come any 
Okay, this is my second raised bed where I grow fruit. I have blueberries growing this year. Hopefully I'll get some blueberries. Um, yeah, I think so there's blueberries on the tips. Let me know if there are blueberries or not. Hopefully there are. Okay, I grew some beetroot. They're not doing that well this year for some reason. I think it was the winter. Okay, this is my raspberry plant. I have so many raspberry growing. As you can see, can't wait for it to ripen. I'll do an update on fruits ripen. Okay, this is a kiwi plant. And I think this year I'm going to get some kiwi finally. Hopefully, some kiwis. So, yeah, can't wait for it to grow. Okay, this. In between, I have massive rhubarb growing. This year it's done really well. It's really big. I'm gonna cut some up. And behind it, I have red currant. Oh, looks so gorgeous and they taste so tarty and delicious. Okay, this is next flower bed. In here, I have flowers and I have a really big bay leaf tree and I'll show you the rest of the stuff. I have fern and loads of lovely flowers growing at this front bit. I have foxglove that survived from last year. I have pink jasmine growing all the way up there. Uh, I have a grapevine that I put with the memories of my mother-in-law's first death anniversary. This is really big bay leaf tree when I moved here I've got and a bird house no bird has moved but it looks really cute uh, my grapevine has started growing this way it's three years now I got the grapevine so it's doing really well and it's on my sitting area okay this is really nice. My husband made this area for me to sit down and with beautiful lighting. Okay, I have a gift that was given by one of my lodger. Um, this is my strawberry plants. And um, it's a three tier uh, pot that holds strawberries. Oh my gosh, this year I got a bumper crop of strawberries. So many strawberries are growing crazy amount of strawberries. I have another one here. Uh, behind I have one vine um, it's really good quality grape with no seeds um, somebody gave me and this is a hanging basket I have put and another one and this is the view when I sit down from here I get to see my garden and my chicken are free ranging in the garden running around enjoying themselves as you can see so it's really nice to let the chicken out and sit down and watch the day go by. Okay, I'm gonna go to my second base bed. I don't want this video to be too long. This one's got flowers in here and loads of loads of flowers growing. I have jasmine flowers, honeysuckle, uh, many, many more. I have one of these. I always wanted one of these one. So, and behind it I have an orange tree, um, it's coming back alive, um, the winter killed the main stems and stuff. I have loads of other plants growing, this one is basically, I think it's called kiwi flower, um, it looks, uh, the fruit looks like passion fruit. Um, I have loads of other plants. This is my mint. Um, I grow it on a pot so it doesn't go crazy everywhere. I have another flowers here. And then I have pear tree. Last year I had one pear and one cherry. Cherry plants is at the front. This is my second basket raised bed where I grow um, onion. This is from last year onion. And then I have um, Bangladeshi vegetable, it's like lal shag but it's very 
long and big hopefully I'll get loads of these ones and this is a plant from my mum's garden and this is mustard leaves as well and this is green beans um, and Bangladeshi variety here so it's really nice Bengali people call it shim or dugi so yeah I planted some tomatoes here but I think the slugs got to them so and my husband made the raised bed and the climbers for me okay next I have two aubergine and I do really good with aubergine but slug has got to this one and destroyed this one so it's kind of sad okay I have kodu plant and I think people call it ground bottle ground or bird nest or something I don't know anyway um, it's doing really well this one this one's like long snake one and the flowers are coming and yeah I can't wait for it to grow okay this is my second raised bed I put coriander in here and I put some cabbage that I had and I cut the, I ate from it and then cut it oh my gosh uh, slugs got to my tomato plants just destroying all my plants it's all right I'm not gonna be upset I've got a few more uh, little baby ones that I can put. Okay, my husband made this one so the chalice for the plants to grow in. In between, I have chili, chili trees and I got compost bin here. And then I planted on this one chilies and in here I got lal shag and spinach. Uh, spinach are not doing that well. I put some more in again and there's some tomatoes. And these are my kodu plants that they're doing. This one is from Bangladesh. This is a Bangladeshi variety one. Hopefully, we'll get a nice big one. It didn't do very well, and the heat burned it, and the weather wasn't so good. And this is from the shop, the seeds. And this one is two years ago. I had long kodu. Um, like snake kodu I think it's called I saved the seed so that one survived from there okay next it's my chicken coop it's very messy it's really big all the big chicken sits there well, basically what I've given them is eggshell mix in there they don't like it but it's for calcium to prevent them from eating their own eggs oh hopefully one of them might be sitting on the eggs I'm trying to get encourage one of the hen to be broody so I left a couple of eggs in there oh she's not sitting there so I don't know where she is maybe she's inside resting I have four hens actually she's over there on the bottom digging a hole which she refused to become broody okay that one's vicious one these are all my hens And then that's the shed my husband built. I dry my clothes on this um, back thing. And let's go and check out the chicks, what they're getting up to. They're enjoying the lawn with mummy. Yeah, they look really good. I don't trust mummy much. She jumps onto my raised beds and scratches and damages my plants. So I have to keep an eye on her when she does that. Uh, I let her out for a short time, not always though, and uh, it's kind of sad all the other hens are not friendly toward her, uh, they're not very nice, very mean, so that's it, hopefully they don't eat the pellets, okay let's see what's Momo doing, there's little Momo, oh, let's go to the way. Okay, thank you. Please don't forget to subscribe, share, and press the bell.